Yeah, g'day viewers. Well, welcome back to another video. Um, as promised in my last video, I've got this Cisco item. I have no idea what it is, so sorry for not being too knowledgeable. I have no idea what this does. So I've got this one and this larger item down here, which is whatever that is, I don't know, but it's also Cisco. It says Cisco there in the corner. So I'm going to be pulling both of these apart so that you can see what's in it. Before I start, people have asked to look at my dismantling station because they thought it's all unorganized. Uh, it's just very small and cluttered is all. So I've got all these different containers that I put things in. Bright copper wire, uh, dirty copper, all sorts of stuff. I've got things laying all over the table that I'm going to be sorting and putting into containers. My much needed coffee, have to have coffee in my hero cup because my daughter thinks I'm a hero. Tools down here and IC chips and things like that that get gonna get burnt. I put those in there. Uh, some things are like boards of uh, mobile phones and so on. And I just torch the whole thing. It's easier than picking it off. And then once I've sorted stuff out. I've got my rubbish bin just here to put more rubbish in. I have all these containers stored here. This one is for 50-50, which is 50% copper wire, 50% plastic. I've got my extruded aluminium, my domestic aluminium, my cast aluminium, my brass, my electric motors and transformers, my copper wire, and my data cable. So uh, I've got here a contain, um, container full of boards which uh, need to be depopulated with the heat gun. And underneath the, underneath this bo uh, box is this, this is uh, needing to be done. It's over full as you can see which I will certainly be sorting soon. But underneath that is another box full of boards that have already been depopulated and they need to be treated, which is an upcoming video. So that's how it all works down here. Not very scientific. We will start with this gadget. If anyone knows what this does, by all means let me know. See if I can show you some info on it. I have no clue what this is. Cisco Systems. No idea. Air yeah, ventilation on the back. And whole pile of ports, which are good. They've got uh, nice gold pins in them usually. Another one there. Alright, so I'll uh, start dismantling, take the outer casing off, so we can see what's in it. I'll be back in a minute. I forgot to mention that uh, in my setup I've got YouTube playing. Always watching YouTube. Well, there wasn't too many screws holding this on, so uh, this outer casing lid... So what have we got here? We've got some gold pins in there. Some nice BGAs. Uh, big fat MLCC. Um, some little tiny ICs. Some more little tiny MLCCs. Uh, some ICs here. Four-sided leg, which is good. Um, for those who are starting out and don't understand why they're better, Every time there's a gold leg, sorry, start again. Every leg that you see on an IC chip goes towards the center where there's a circuit die. And from each leg to the circuit die is a gold bond wire. So two side legged only have 
golds coming from the side. A four-legged one has legs all the way around, which means gold all the way around. So more gold, that's why they're better. But still, there's plenty of them, even some small ones, another nice fat MLCC, which those usually contain silver and palladium. Uh, ICs. These are just aluminium capacitors, for those who don't know. They're no good. Take them off before you use a heat gun or they explode. Uh, copper coil in there. Transistor. A little fuse down there with what looks like gold coated ends on it, which is pretty good. Uh, what else have we got in here? I don't know what oh, that's those ports there, so they'll have gold pins in them. Another four legged IC. Aluminium capacitor. So, not aluminium capacitor. What am I doing today? There's silver. There's silver in there. Um, oh, a nice gold border oscillator. They're really good. They're actually like uh, an IC chip. On the back is ceramic, and inside is actual uh, solid gold bond wires. There's another one. So, I'm trying to get my hand around the corner. One there. And there's one there. So they're really good to have. I'm actually collecting these for a video. Um, I'm always open to people sending me things if you've got a stack of them that will help me get the video faster. This is a tantalum capacitor and they will also contain silver. So I'll be keeping that as well. Uh, another silver Passenger or oscillator or whatever they call them. I don't know what they are. I know they're silver. In. So that's this side of the board. Now I'm going to have to unscrew it and see if there's anything on the back side. And I'm hoping there is because, to be honest, I'm not seeing a lot on here. Uh, I don't know what's under this little board. So I'll have to have a look at that. And also wherever you see a heat sink, there's possibly a gold corner BGA under there. And of all the types of chips to, to do, gold corner BGAs are the best. I won't know till I get this off. A pair of uh, screwdriver or something to lever it up, and I'll have a look at that. I'll unscrew these, and then I'll show you if there's anything else to look at. I was pleasantly surprised to see underneath the heat sink is a gold corner BGA. It's nine times out of ten is the case. Now this is good extruded aluminium. And then all this crap on here is heat transfer cream, ointment, whatever you want to call it. So just get a, a, a moist cloth and wipe this off before you put it in your acids. You don't want to have this sort of rubbish go into your acids. Um, I've oh, there's, there's, it looks like some fingers here, but... To me, they don't look gold, and I've never ever seen fingers that aren't gold or silver. It looks just like, I don't know, copper, whatever's on this board, because this is not gold on the board. This is just, I don't know, copper or something. It's not gold, so I don't know why they're not gold. And then on the back side, nothing. Nothing, 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 maybe some small MLCCs. Uh, okay, we've got a couple of little IC chips and a nice fat MLCC. Another couple of IC chips and some MLCCs. So it's good for the MLCC side of it, but it's pretty boring after that. This is a really, I would say, a poor quality board. Some people might say it's a good one. Underneath this little thing here, so there's the IC chip on top. And when you flip it over, it's got legs on the sides all the way around. So it looks to be like another IC chip on top. I've never ever seen that before. One chip on top of another. So uh, that's this whole contraption. That's it. That's all there's on it. Pretty poor. I was hoping to see a lot more than that. All right, I'll get all this out of my way and we'll start another device. Here we go with this device. Now, again, like I said, I don't know what it's called. 
I don't know what it does. No clue. It's got lasers in it, which is a good thing, because there might be some gold laser diodes. All right, so I'll get dismantling, take the outside casing off. This box is very, very heavy. Extremely heavy for its size, so that's probably a good sign. There might be some goodies inside it. We'll find out in just a sec. Curiosity is getting the best of me, and it's time to see what's in this. So I can lift it without dropping it. Take this off. Alrighty, so I need to remove this plastic to see what's under there. Um, people tell me there's good copper inside here in, in the fan. So we've got some copper cables, that's nice. Fast money. Some more fingers that don't look like gold. But I'll be putting them in the gold thing just in case. Uh, nice copper coil. IC chips, BGA, more IC chips. I'll have to get this plastic off and see what's in there. So these here, you know, I'm trying to hold it. These here aren't IC chips. Whenever they're really raised a bulky things, they've got copper coils all the way underneath. So when they're really, really big, square, high things like this, these are RC chips, and these are the ones. Um, lots of these ports all along the front for gold fingers. More MLCCs, ICs, another gold corner, uh, sorry, a gold border oscillator. And looks like a smaller one there. BGAs, ICs. Another gold corner BGA, which is nice. Small ICs, some nice MLCCs. Lots of MLCCs on here. Some cabling. And that went to a port on the back. And that's about it. So I'll take off this plastic along here, see what's in there, and this plastic here. Underneath that big sheet of plastic is just the power board. Got some nice big copper coils. Bright copper wire here in Australia is ten dollars a kilo. Dirty copper, which is laminated and so on, is a bit cheaper. Um, the nice cables here, fast money. Big uh, chunky pieces of extruded aluminium. As far as aluminium is concerned, extruded is the most uh, valuable. There's some transformers, with copper cables inside, or they can just be sold as transformers. And more copper in there. You know, I took these plastic things off that were coming up over here, and you can see there's some nice IC chips along the front there, with MLCCs as well. And then there was this board here on the corner, and when I pried it out, it's got copper pins, uh, gold pins there, so there'd be gold pins in this, which is what was connected to that. Um, MLCCs, there's a good board for MLCCs. Uh, nothing in the tubes, unfortunately. And that looks to be more of those fat copper things like this, so that they're no good. And uh, so that's it. Now I'm going to undo this board, and I doubt there's anything on the back side, but we'll have a look. What's on this ribbon? No gold. So there's no gold in there. We're going to undo these screws, and hopefully there's something nice on the back. And uh, it would be nice, but there's not really a lot on here. There's uh, I've got to take this off first and see what's under there. Most likely, since there's a gold corner BGA here, that might not be one. It might be one of those other boards that are completely useless. But I have seen gold corner BGAs right next to each other, so this is a possibility. I'll take that off as well as unscrewing the board and we'll see what else there is. I pried this uh, 
aluminium heat sink off that's also extruded aluminium and there is a BGA but it's not a gold corner BGA but that's okay just sure wipe that rubbish off the top of it and uh, that, that should be good to go to, to heat up roast now try and balance this while I turn it over on the um, power supplies also these little IC chips and MLC season. This has got silver in it as well. So I didn't see that before. Alright, so turn this over without dropping the whole unit. Well, it's a Porsche, there's no ICs or anything, but there is a lot of nice fat MLCCs all the way along and smaller ones above it. Lots of MLCCs, lots and lots and lots. These fingers, like I said, don't really look like gold, but they could be. They're just a different colour to what I normally see. So they'll definitely go in the gold container just the same. That's the worst that can happen. It might not be gold at all. Um, MLCCs everywhere. And that's all there is on the backside. So I'm still baffled as to what this thing even does. If you know, please, please let me know. And I'm sure there's others that are curious as well. But that's it. That's all there is for this two items. I appreciate you tuning in. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. Before I go, I would like to say a very big thank you to the new subscribers recently. Um, I've had quite a few, which is nice. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you. And I'm getting close to my my thousand subscribers. I'm up to 836 or something like that. So I want to let you all know in advance that when I get to a thousand subscribers, I will be giving away some gold. Yes, real gold. Not just to the person who is the tenth is the thousandth subscriber, but also there will be some available to win for you guys as well. I, th I don't know how many prizes there will be at this stage. Probably about three, I think. So one to the thousandth subscriber and then a couple for you guys. Uh, the details will be released later as to how you win it. Um, just that I give you something to look forward to. Uh, Alright, so there's nothing else to show you. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Please tell your friends, share the video, help my channel grow. It's very small in comparison to a lot of the other people that do this type of thing. And I hope that I'm just as interesting, if not more, as the other people. Uh, I really do need everyone's help to grow this channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a good day, night, whatever it is for you. And see you later.